Hello everyone, it's uh, Rad. Uh, welcome to my channel Rad Kutarot and uh, this is going to be a disclaimer that needs to stand in front of every video I do. So if you this is the first time you are here, welcome. If not, and should you wish to proceed, well, you can fast forward into the reading that it is ahead of this disclaimer. But as a disclaimer, I need to advise you that this is a, a general reading um, of the representative star sign and for that reason because tarot is very personal divination tool and does require narrative which in personal readings appear to be your question or the situation that you are describing uh, the read the general reading may or may not resonate entirely with uh, with your situation and if it resonates that great if it doesn't i do apologize for that but sh i'm yeah, and I wish you the best, you know, with some, with the situation that you're trying to cope with. But um, if you wish to proceed with the um, personal readings or uh, you wish to follow me on Facebook or on YouTube, you know, all, all of that or visit my website, all of that is going to be written in the description the box down below. And uh, thank you for watching in advance and uh, now lay back and uh, enjoy the video. All right, so this is going to be a Sagittarius Sun, Moon, and as well Rising weekly tarot reading for a September 9th to September 15th, 2019. And bear with me just a second, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards. And uh, we can jump right into it. That's good enough, I guess. And uh, the first card, which stands for the topic of your week, guys, is going to be the Justice card. Followed by the next one, which stands for the challenges that you need to overcome here. That will be the Five of Swords. Then what we do have is going to be the Queen of Swords, which stands for the positive aspect. And then the last one, that will be the Star card, which represents the guidance that Saru is offering to you. So just give me a second here. Uh, that Five of Swords is a little bit of a um, tricky card in this uh, in this follow up. Um, so what we do have it's um, uh, it, it's like inaccurate a tendency, right? Inaccurate a tendency up until this point that you do have either in regards to your career or either in regards to your relationship. For a reason being is that t t trying to enforce a thing to have it your way. While in the same time, it's, it, there is a much easier, you know, and much more efficient way of how to do things. So before we go into that and see how this thing plays out, we are, let's run the cards one more time. So we do have the uh, Justice card, which stands for the topic, the very theme of the week, followed by the next one, which stands for the challenges here. That is going to be the Five of Swords. Afterwards is going to be the Queen of Swords, which represents the uh, positive aspect of the week. And then the last one is going to be the Star card, which stands for the guidance that Tsaru is offering. So the Justice card, well, the Justice here points that you need to be, first of all, that week will call for you to be accountable for your actions. Meaning that many things that you are tackling with, you know, many tasks, many chores that you are uh, having under your wing and you need to perform into them, needs to be reorganized. And that will be the week all about how you reorganize your uh, tasks into your career, tasks into your relationship as well. And in generally, um, how do you say it? The, the things that you do find substantial for yourself and, uh, and for your life. Uh, in general, which is going to lead to new strategies that you are going to adopt, you know, new um, goals of yours and etc, etc. This week as well is going to call you for some decisions that you will have to make and those decisions needs to be attended with um, a big seriousness. I, I don't know if this is a, or conscientiousness, it is what the word that I'm searching for, because there will be an um, uh, consequences. For, from those decisions and it's very important to recognize that whatever you do throughout the week you will have to face the consequences it's just how the the, the justice card works if you give you're gonna be given to 
all right? If you take away, something is going to be taken away from you as well. The justice is the mother of the balance. And balance, it is what the week is going to aim to do into your environment. Because up until this point, because this card appears, there is a huge portion of this balance. Either you have been taken away things so much that is now for you, it is time for you to start take away or you have taken away so many things that it is now time for you to give, all right? The accompanied card here is going to be the Eight of Cups, the formation. It is a active neutrals that we do have. So with the Eight of Cups, <clears throat> it does look like that there is still time for you to, uh, how do I say it? Um, to fix things, all right? Things aren't beyond a point of no return. Things are not beyond any control. But once again, it, it takes from you to um, re-adopt your positions, to change your strategies. And it's all about priorities, all right? To re to reshuffle your priorities in a such a way that you focus first upon what is most substantial right, right now, what is most important right now, instead of what you think, not what you think, but you want to be important. For example, uh, let's say that, I don't know what to give you, all right? So, so let's say that your career, it's, it's not in a very good place. And in the same time, you are planning a, a vacation with, uh, with your husband or with your wife, it doesn't matter. And while you have to focus on your career, instead you put as a priority the vacation, you, um, you kind of like apply for days off and you are simply get fired. You know, because your career, obviously your place doesn't need you if you're going to be absent in these crucial days there. Right. So you need to be very accurate upon just one second, guys, to put my computer on charger. You need to be very accurate here upon a uh, what needs to be attended straight away. This is what the week is going to recall from you to do. So the challenge is going to be the five of swords. And it's pretty clear with the five of swords pushing at all costs, all right? Being stubborn about the priorities in your life, not wanting to recognize that one thing, you know, has a priority over another, while this another thing is something that you want to finish, something that you want to finalize. Same thing with the uh, example I gave you, you know, you want to go on a vacation, but right now is not the time, all right? Right now, it's the time that you address the issues into your career, no different than that. So it will be difficult for you to recognize the limitations you have, the capabilities, not as a, a personal performance, but the capabilities that the circumstances are giving you, what, how far they go, how far they sprout, you know, and what you can and cannot do throughout this week. The accompanied card is going to be the Wheel of Fortune, the formation. It is a active uh, friends that we do have. So with this card, it, with this combo, it's very easy to um, think that you are um, untouchable, to think that you are indestructible, if I may express it that way. Like if you get fired from this job, pff, big deal, I'm going to find another one. Or if you break up with your relationship, pff, big deal, this is not the only person into the world. But the thing is that um, this particular attitude that you may have, you know, kind of like not having an inaccurate um, assessment of how your priorities stand are going to lead you to another failure and to another failure afterwards, or if not failure, to a point where you cannot um, maximize your gains, all right? And that's why it's important throughout this week to be accountable toward the environment and toward the circumstances and then being accountable toward oneself as well. So that leads us to the next one, which stands for the guide uh, for the positive aspect that Taro is offering to you. And we do have a person who is severely concerned about how you tackle with uh, with your environment, all right, with your tasks and endeavors and chores as well. Now that person will try to set you on the right track. It is because this person have a huge portion of a experience. They have been in your shoes, all right. They have been that, for example, we are responsible guy or a girl, they have been this one, which um, judgment was clouded by personal yearnings, by personal desires as well. And as we saw, the personal desires are those who can very rapidly drive you toward a, if not failure, you know, unsatisfiable uh, position further into the future. 
so no different than you do have many things to do some of them are chores some of them are very pleasant endeavors well you have to attend first to the chores right before you attend to the endeavors because otherwise the chores are going to escalate snowball and are going to appear very very difficult challenges for you to overcome further into the future if not addressed straight away right now so that this is what the queen of swords is going to do and additionally to that is very likely to help you to push those chores or immediate sub substantial endeavors for you through okay because this queen as it likes to talk right and it likes to give counsel and advice it also a, a very good person physically wise in the sense of you know being able to do what she says okay so it's not just empty words but it's someone who can support their statements and their words with determinate actions additionally to that this could be a medical doctor all right who places an, an accurate diagnosis in your life so that could be that you have been signed a, a treatment but something in this treatment is something that you don't like for example a diet I will give myself for an example I do have a, a condition it's genetic condition my my body my metabolism kind of synthesize a lot of urea uh, if I eat a meat okay and uh, this urea crystallizes in my kidneys and there you go you have a kidney stone so I have I should not eat meat or not in a big um, in a big quantities in in vast quantities and especially red meat something that I like I don't like the white meat I like the red meat but it's something that I don't eat because two days after I eat the red meat I have a, a kidney crisis and that oh my god the pain of this is excruciating Anyway, so yeah, that could be your medical doctor who is trying to put you on the right track here with the um, with the treatment you need to follow and you don't follow it because you don't like something in it. The accompanied card is going to be the four of uh, the four of cups, the formation. It is a active um, neutrals. So they will try a little bit more unorthodox methods to make you see their point, which is a good thing, no different than, for example, you want to make your child do something. And instead of uh, making this something appear as a chore, you make this something appear as a game. It is it is like that. Okay, it could be that this person is going to offer you a reward for if you follow this thing, you know, or they may make it a little bit more exciting for you to uh, to attend to and etc, etc. And the last card here, it's about the guidance that Taro is offering to you. That will be the star card. And it's all about thinking for the future. It's not about thinking for the moment. It's not about thinking for tomorrow. It's about thinking for the one year in advance, two years in advance, decade in advance. All right. You're, you should not be such a person who sees only uh, as far as your, as the tip of your nose go. All right. You should be a person who plans for, like I said, the distant future. Additionally to that, the star card here says that you do have the necessary support to overcome this poignant times because for me, if I have to do something I don't want, it's a poignant time, it's despondent time. I am not a person who likes to attend to chores and who likes to attend to endeavors that are simply irritating to me, all right, or aggravating me. But sometimes these activities are uh, ne uh, necessary to be attended so you can get to the good stuff afterwards, all right? Uh, the accompanied card here is going to be the Three of Cups, the formation. It is a active neutrals. <clears throat> and uh, with the Three of Cups, it's kind of like a... Um, the results are going to come slowly. So let's say you uh, you start doing your treatment right and the result of it is not going to happen over a night, it's not going to happen over a week, maybe it's not going to happen over a month, but you need to be persistent. That is the point. And also the card here points, uh, these two cards here points that maybe the friends that you're going to have, you know, are may start encouraging you to just, you know, do whatever you like and pff, whatever happens, happens. But that should not be the way how you should proceed with all that. Once again, your friends does not see your future. You are the only one who can see your future. And should you proceed with this noxious routine that you do have, then your future, it's not going to be as bright as you want it to be. But if you listen to what this Queen of Swords tells you, all right, if you make the necessary um, reshuffling of the priorities that you do have in your life, 
then you're gonna have a bright future. No different with me, all right? Uh, before this week, I do had that really serious um, conversation with my manager because I'm always on time with the weeklies and that's the problem. I'm, no, I'm always on time, I'm not early. And what is substantial thing for the business? The, the content. So I have to focus on the content and that's the, that's the truth. And as much as difficult it is to me to stand in front of the camera, talk for hours, you know, it's something that I got to do. Either I'm going to do it now or at the end of the week, it's better to do it now because there is no pressure, right? While at the end of the week, there is a pressure upon me to produce the videos. So yeah, that being said, Sagittarius, this was your weekly tarot reading for September 9th to September 15th, uh, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys, and we're going to see each other around. Until then. Bye.